All right, motherfuckers, this is Inappropriality. I am DJ Mike Torch. Okay. And it's your girl, special guest, the Fab Life of Dree, a.k.a. Dree, in the building. Shout out our sponsor, All About Business. If you'd like to sponsor the show, just hit me up. Quick $25 a month. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing crazy. And then uh, we can shout you out, put you on uh, platforms, on other platforms. And, um, yeah, get you some get you some business. Get you some business. Um, We got February, February 25th. Grindhouse coming up. Grab your tickets. Mm-hmm. Definitely excited for that show. It's gonna be something very different. So if you want, if you want to go into <coughs> some alternative type, alternative type, it's rap, yeah. music, all that type shit. Uh, definitely, definitely come out and um, support support people that are from your area. That's gonna turn the fuck up. It's it, gonna be it's gonna be a lot of jumping. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of. When and where is this going? When is this going? Blue down? Room Studios. Um, That's in yeah, February twenty fifth. And you know Got you. And if you don't like uh, alternative music, there's gonna be another section in the venue that you can go upstairs. We're gonna have a different DJ up there. Vendors. Twenty one plus. I'm yeah. yeah, yeah, you gotta be twenty one plus to go upstairs. To go upstairs, you have to be <laughs> twenty one. Um, zero tolerance oh. policy. I do not give a fuck. Security tight. So security tight. Best so security in the land. You already know TM and security. They will throw your ass <clears throat> the fuck. Not out. playing around. Like, <laughs> I'm not playing around. This is the first of its kind, and I want to make sure that shit is is cool. You want to so. smoke, right? Oh no, I was gonna say pass. Uh, <laughs> Please. All I, I ask is to just to up. like follow the rules. That's it, man. Just follow the rules, and you're gonna have a great time. Or hell yeah, I'm definitely definitely yeah. on the set. I'm gonna have the place jumping. Come out, buy your tickets. Ten bucks. Ten dollars. Before I raise them shits. Last minute, day of, no (laughs) bullshit. You got mad tickets, and you can get them from more than one place. Who else has them? Um, You can get them from me. You can go on um, Eventbrite, or you can reach out to your favorite artist that's on the lineup, and they have individual tickets as well. So, mad options. Or you can pay at the door, which I really don't want people to do that. But I'm not turning away no money. (laughs) Facts. And don't forget to tune in every Friday, mm-hmm. 88.5 FM, International Fridays, DJ Mike Torch, Inside the Maze, Big City FM. Um, Yes, finally, intro over, intro <clears> over. <throat> <laughs> How are you doing? I've, I'm blessed and highly favored to be here. Thank you guys for having me. Um, I know this is not w- initially what we planned, but I decided to still come hold it down and it is we're fine. It is okay. Like we like having all types of different conversations, and you're you're in tune with what's you're in tune with with other people aren't like. Yes, <laughs> very multi. I, I want I, later on. I want to get into some do's and don'ts of what some some local or up and coming artists should and shouldn't do. Okay. Because obviously that's that's a big thing in this I can area. Provide some insight. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. For sure. So tell the people what you do and who you've been working with and. Um, all that type of stuff Oof. because before before <laughs> before they be like okay who the hell is talking right about? like who is this girl who is this chick okay so it's your girl Dree aka the Fab Life of Dree aka La Madrina La Patrona VIP Dree Bad Gal Dree Dree the Pink Monster the Caramel Carrie Bradshaw Bad Gal Dree Dree <laughs> Champagne <laughs> Mommy I mean <laughs> Dree Banks I mean I do anything and everything um, but. I do own a business. I own a real estate um, investment company, but I also just launched a marketing business with my co-host where we work with artists, small venues, restaurants, anyone that needs marketing services, we provide that our expertise. I also work with models as well. I like to gather the baddies, um, provide them for music videos, fashion week, anything um, that you see fit. And I also am the head of marketing for Fuego Base currently right now. Um, I'm working with a few other artists in Connecticut and outside of Connecticut. So, yeah, I'm on the run. <laughs> oh, and I'm also a radio host, guys. One third of the Breakers radio show with my brother, King Hav, and our DJ, DJ Cause and Effect. Uh, no, it should be open. Okay, he said door, and I'm like, it's open. I'm pretty sure nah. it's open. I had to open he it. He said no. No. Miss nigga. Uh, what was I about to ask? Marketing. <coughs> Something about marketing. What the fuck was I about to ask? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, help me. Hold on. I want uh, to nah, open the door it's too loud. Oh, no. <laughs> no, nah, not even. Not even about... Uh, because, okay, so there, there's artists and shit out here that, that, that have 
zero marketing. They put out they put out music or they they just try to throw anything at the wall right. with zero plan. Right. Can we go into why marketing is important while I go open this door? Yes. Okay. So marketing is critical because without marketing or knowing your target database, you're gonna flop. I feel like anytime you don't have, I don't feel like there's anything about luck. A in lot this of world. flopping going on around yes. here because, and it's sad because you know you see them and they're frustrated. And mm-hmm. one of the things they say is like, "Oh, why isn't this working?" or and it's because you're trying to target your music to an audience that doesn't listen to what you make. When you're not familiar with your demographic, your consumer, I mean, you're just destined for failure, pretty much. I I like to work in quarters. I don't like to overplan, but I like to be meticulous. Um, I believe in rollout plans. Oh my God! For artists, I work on those right now. I'm, working through a major one for bass um i got another one for big smacky coming out around Mar- everything's kind of bubbling around march for me so this is kind of like my grind time february march is when everything's gonna kind of come out so i like to hustle in silence if that makes sense that's an issue with a lot of people i feel like they see the end goal and they don't they don't work in quarters or or even a step at a time they just want to mm-hmm. hit that end goal they miss so many marks I mean, that's an issue. It's a huge issue. But I want—I want to hear. I want to hear those because I just said we we're gonna bring this back up. Some do's and don'ts of somebody up and coming. Like, what, what, what are some things that you should do as an artist coming up in this game, or do, even in a small, a small market? Do have a press kit, um, a EPK. Um, if you if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like your, your resume. Art, yeah, your resume. Oh, your, like. Yeah. Um, Even if you're just in the entertainment field, like, you guys should have a press kit. Every person or anything of notoriety, all your numbers, all your streams, have all your information in one place. All your visuals, focus primarily on your visuals. I've heard from quality control reps. I've heard from Def Jam and Rock Nation um, reps, and they all are looking for just they want you to be packaged and pretty like a bow so that means 4k quality like invest in your visuals that's like make sure your ig pictures are right make sure everything you post is posted with quality and like you're actually paying attention to that um don't have an ego because that Mm. turns people off quickly Mm -hmm. um have confidence but don't have an ego it's a fine line and your name really uh like I've I've seen it happen. Like you can be in a room and turn someone off so quickly, and they're like, "Yo, I'm never gonna do, do anything with them or your team or anything." Have a team. <laughs> Have a team that actually gives up about you, that actually cares about your career. Um, is okay with not validating themselves and all the time, and okay playing a certain role. Um, I do many things, but there's many times where I'm not getting the full credit. I'm not always in front, like. I'm not, you know, like you. You just have to be comfortable in your position. So yes, people mm-hmm. don't yes. know how to do that. Play their roles or even have a position. Mm-hmm. They want to be that's, everything. Yeah. yeah, and that's where they can go. That's where they can go downhill. Um, I'm trying to wear too many. Big, hats. don't don't stay in your hometown, <laughs> and don't feel like that's where you're gonna get your most love. I mean, you should build a buzz. Like popularity is key. Like you need to establish some sort of like respect, but. Like, you got to really make sure you branch out. I think a lot of people around this area are just so focused on being popular in this one particular zone rather than Mm -hmm. capitalizing off. This is a conversation that we've been having a lot lately. I feel like certain people are just, they're just content with it. Yeah. They're they're fine with the position that they built here because they're just just comfortable. They're comfortable with being that guy here. So it's like you get all the love here. You go to the mall. People like, it's 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 whack. Yeah. Oh it's whack. Seriously, seriously. Let's it's take whack. the mic torch. It's whack. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's any it's anybody. It's anybody. And it's just like for for some of the people that that have some of the connections that I know they have, I feel like they should be a lot further than where they are. And that's how come I know they're content with them just being here. Oh, it, yeah. it, it it doesn't make any sense to me. Like why why is this your end goal? Like I don't, I don't understand it. Some artists, like, here, like, I'll see that they have an, um, a feature with, like, a big artist. That artist is not going to promote it. He's not going to repost it on his page at all. 
He's not going to shoot the video with you. He's barely going to even acknowledge you. And it might just be a verse that was a throwaway that he just copied and pasted and got a quick bag off of. Mm -hmm. Um, residual for you. Build your own hype. Don't focus on going after super clout. Like, if you're not going to be, if if you don't really love this, then don't. What's what's the point? Mm -hmm. There's no result, really. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, there's a there's a lot of a lot, especially coming from this. It's a very tiny. It's a tiny ass market. So you see a lot of a lot. You see people that 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 are ready for it, and then you see the people that just want to make music just to make music, and then you see the people that think they're ready for it, and they're they're really not. There's so many pieces to this game that people don't even understand. Yeah. And quality yeah. is essential, and then a lot of people don't even have that. Yeah, that, yeah. That's like the bare minimum. Like you have to be. I like to call it like wrapped like a, with a bow on top for the industry. Like if you really want to break through that mold and separate yourself, make sure you write. That's all come correct. Make, like if you're on the street selling dope, you want to make sure you got the best dope because that's going to bring the customers, right? Oh, shit. Good dope uh, uh, speaks for itself. <laughs> so that's how I like to put it. You had that package now. Feel me? Mm. I've been watching a little too much Snowfall. <laughs> you know, <I've> been the... <laughs> she said she about to make a play, motherfucker. How did you link with uh, Fuego Base? Um, so I've been hearing about Fuego Bass for about three years now. My co-host kept telling me, yo, you got to meet this dude. He couldn't even walk, but he's so real. Like he, he was, he didn't even have legs, but he started rapping. He's the realest nigga you'll ever meet. So eventually, um, we were, we did an interview with him. And after that, me and him just started working. He saw what like I could do. I just kind of believed in him immediately as soon as I heard him I was in the studio one day with him recording and it was just so organic and it was like I said it was like good dope like I was instantly hooked like I had it it was like a thirst like I didn't even know I was thirsty for that but it was it was something missing in the game and I think he filled that role and ever since then we just started rocking um it's been about six months now I, I went on the bird and a plugs tour with him um with Benny and the whole BSF and it was it's just been a crazy roller coaster seeing his grind his work ethic and keeping him on point i mean he's a grown-ass man but he says yes ma'am to me so it's like oh, he just there's a respect there for a mutual respect i feel between both of us oh, that's dope that's dope. where are you from i'm from um new britain actually like connecticut like near farmington like my house is five minutes away from 50 cents old at you know that big ass yeah grid? i remember driving by that shit i mean my house not big like time, that feel like. me but you know it's not too far <laughs> 50 cent crib <laughs> <laughs> hella trump supporters over there right now <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so you mentioned you mentioned interviews what is your show and you mentioned your um co-host as well who is that and um, what do you usually talk about on your show? So uh, I host the Breakers. I'm one third of the Breakers radio show. It's me, uh, my co-host King Hav. He also has a LifeCast podcast. And he hosts so many other shows outside of this. I will. I don't even want to disrespect him by trying to. That's vague. I think, I, I think I've heard of that. Yeah. I think I've heard of that. Yeah. He's, he's, he's definitely um, like, he's just, I don't know. I could big him, big him up forever. He's like really just my partner in crime, my brother. We just do everything together. And then our DJ, who's also my brother, DJ Cause and Effect. We, my, so my segment is the Mad Minute. I go over topics. I talk about my dating life sometimes. Talk about things I'm going through. Um, we go over just life topics, hip hop. Uh, we have live freestyles. It's really just, we do oh, a Fresh Faces man. segment where we highlight all the local artists that's coming on. And we have interviews come through sometimes so it's just a good vibe show and we will be in the facility here so word okay we gotta have you guys come on the breakers radio show yeah, next door we will we will yes y'all ever have a trash freestyle you ever been looking at the dj like like yo what is going on what is going you on? have no like i'm a good i feel like at a start i feel like oh. you guys are good at when you have bad guests you know how to navigate that situation when i have a bad interview or a bad freestyle i know how to navigate that situation uh, word my head nod might be a little consistent. And like, if you know me, you know me. If I'm just nodding forever, then. <laughs> Listen to the beat. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, nah. I don't think I, can, I, don't think I had that type of composure. Oh, uh, no, you know, it's man. different for guys, though. Oh, no. Nah, like, this one over here will be hyping you up like a motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, matter what you no matter what you're doing or saying, he going to be like, yo, bro. 
if I don't got that ugly face, that mean mug, yeah. then I'm not. Then I'm not. Yeah, I'm, like you gotta have a level of ugly. That's how yeah, I think you yeah. determine how hard it is. Yeah, but. And freestyling is freestyling. I hate that. I hate when people are like, yeah, I freestyle that. And those are written from fucking. I don't know how many days ago <laughs> you came fact. here. That's you came here prepared. Like, nah, yo, I want I want to hear some shit off the top. I try not to like clown them because it's like even having the courage to like get up there and like say something off the dome. I so I tried to record a, a, a song <laughs> this this year and that shit is hard. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, this shit is, all right, it's not for the week. Nah, yeah, it's I not mean, for the week in a room full of people. Hey, no <laughs> bullshit. But I'm not gonna say my nigga name but um it's important to freestyle as a as an artist because you never know when you're going to be put on the spot Mm -hmm. there could be there could be a time where you actually need to rap in front of a group of people on the spot because you never know what happened maybe your music might fuck up right right. maybe you might not have all your music with you at the time and you 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 have to do something else in a a competition (laughs) and i can even speak for based on this like when he's in a room he's on point that's kind of what drew me to him like even just hearing him construct a song or being live on the air being able to just off the dome completely kill it a lot of people aren't able to master that craft it's a rare art form in these times it is that's why i give those type of people a shit ton more credit oh yeah like we even get artists where we get like the they gonna lean back and the vibe is off they're like nah we're not we're not saying nothing today like and i'll be like all right Mm. (laughs) all right cool some scary ass artists out there, man. You'd be surprised. Nah, I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> I'm not surprised, <laughs> but seeing how these people move, and then actually traveling and seeing how people move outside of here as well, like like there's scary ass motherfuckers out there too. I'm like, you see it, you see it. So just keep working, man. Just keep working at it. The real always come through. They always pop out. No bullshit. You have a big march. What are you looking forward to most? Ah, uh, um, I don't want to give too much away, mm. but um, we're doing a major big event for base. I'll just say this: we actually gonna have like a a makeshift bodega in the middle of the party. It's gonna be some <laughs> major vibes. That's I just dope. booked my I dancers like today. I just booked my beautiful bartenders today. Mm. Um, we're having a big birthday and release party bash for bass this and I would love for you guys to be the media people we would absolutely love to be you have a location for this yes I'm working on securing a location by the end of this week um I would we were trying to get as many photographers I want at least two or three media like conglomerates so we have like a a room there's gonna be a lot of we got you got one right here listen y'all locked in i'm listen y'all get all the vip treatment i have a bottle waiting for you guys word everything will be (laughs) 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 listen i'm i'm la madrina for a reason when i say something it's gonna happen i promise word that's dope as fuck what are you looking to get out of everything um Uh, what, what, what is your career goals i i really think it's just about longevity and maintaining wealth. Um, I, I don't necessarily look at like the like the quickness of everything. I look at, all right, I want to build an empire. That's why I kind of started going into real estate. That's like my passive money, so I don't have to stress about always having to work for someone twenty four seven. Then being in the media game, like. Being, you can really build what you want now. We, you don't have to wait for a big company check. You can just grind it out until you have some sort of leverage and then use whatever you build to get the most equity out of the situation. So that's kind of like my game, just my game overall game of life. I just think of finessing America before it finesses me. Oh, shit. Um, I eventually want to go to law school at some point and help people get out of jail. So there's just a lot I want to do. I don't really like have like okay you have to stay in this lane i just want to accomplish everything and just stay i want everyone around me to win and eat so i don't even like take fees too much i'll take equity before i take fees and something mm-hmm. like i'm helping lost launch a podcast network like a scripted podcast network that's kind of like on the low but mm-hmm. i got equity in that rather than just taking like upfront marketing fees for that so you know equity and ownership that's what we preaching Happy Black History Month, by the way. Facts, mm. man. 
Facts. February second out this hoe. Two two twenty two. Oh yeah, yeah that's facts. Two two twenty two. Y'all played the numbers today? Nah. nah. Say it's a lucky day. A whole lie. I, I should have got wifed up today. <laughs> Shit, that, that's a good one right there. <laughs> <laughs> I you about lucky to ask, today. I just about to ask a question. Was um, there any luck? Um, signing contracts, independent versus um. Signing to a label, you see Meek and uh, NBA Young Boy going crazy, right? It's NBA, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, NBA going crazy uh, on Atlantic. Yes. Oof. So it's like, what, 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 what do you, what do you suggest to these artists? That's deep too, because like Atlantic, even that's that whole label is. There's a lot of history with them. Um. So, like labels are gonna give you a different kind of push. Like being independent is for hustlers and hustlers only to me. Like, if you're not truly a hustler, and I mean, like, putting in your grind, like, not having your manager having to babysit you or having to force you to do something or you're on drugs 24-7 and you're barely making music or barely on your shit, you need to really pay attention to everything. You got to be on top of your marketing, distribution, promotion, um, your overall look, everything. But labels are just glorified banks, really. They're going to they're gonna give you a million dollars, right? plus a half million signing bonus, then probably a mil to um, do your project. So you're 2.5 mil in the hole already. And they own like probably 80% of your masters, if not more, if not 90%. If they don't own your name. Exactly. Your likeness or your overall, the overall deals are great. It's like getting up the ass. You're like, it's, your likeness, books, m- music, movies, touring, merch. So these artists, most of these artists are super broke or they're still trapping low key, high key, <laughs> like that ass. Or um, they're exhausted as fuck from touring every fucking second of the day. Yeah. And the and COVID really slowed down a bag for a lot of these artists. So yeah, um, I would reckon, like I feel like you can, we're at a point now where you can be a six figure rapper. Yeah. You can be like, I don't think a lot a lot of these niggas don't need to be rapping, but you can be a comfortable mid level, mid tier rapper, build your own fan base, but it's really just up to the the person. Like, what are you willing to do? How much are you willing to put into it? It's not gonna happen overnight, especially independent. You're gonna I'm, like anything independent add like two, three plus years. I'm just I'm just, you it know, is. being realistic, like That's a fact. Motherfuckers aren't really willing to put in that type of work. Yeah. Like, everyone wants the instant gratification. We're in an instant territory. Like, you see, like, 17-year-olds making a mill off videos. You're mad as hell. Like, yo, why am I getting up at, like, 8 a.m. Going, <laughs> to, <laughs> going to work for what? Like, it, but it's just the way the world is right now. She don't make no sense. She don't make no sense. It's fucking kid millionaires fucking mm. that toy yo that what's that a good name ryan, ryan? fucking ryan i be mean, feeling oh, dumb ryan. as hell oh, like, boy ryan. <laughs> like ryan. yo like what am i doing wrong spend like, hella money on this shit fuck how the fuck i mean it is what it is get it how you can I can't hate <laughs> that boy parents is winning yes how? what yeah what he walking to school did you buy your mama car <laughs> 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 Y'all want to talk about Whoopi Goldberg? Mm. Oof. Mm. <laughs> nah. Mm. Holocaust ain't nothing about race, right? It ain't mm-hmm. got nothing to do with race. We, I mean, we, that's what she said. We trying not getting canceled territory. I mean, that's what she said. I mean, you got you, you. Oh, so you agree with her? We trying not getting canceled territory. Ah, uh, nah. We ain't canceled. Ain't nobody can't, can't, we can't be canceled. <laughs> Dang it. The fuck? <laughs> you gotta be off. on your Dave Chappelle. They're gonna, like, Yo, <laughs> they gonna take us right off. Dang it. That's what she said. Report every post. And that's what she said. They suspended Whoopi. Yeah. Two weeks. They They're saying that she that she probably she's gonna quit the show. Because they're gonna fire her but make her resign. Yeah. yeah. She wanted her. Nobody they're not gonna see her back. The view. The show is called The View. Different women, different walks of lives. But can we like break down what she like? She just all she said was, "I know I'm. I'm I'm listen. They might bring this. It's what Whoopi said. Alleged. It's not even alleged. (laughs) She said alleged. Okay, so all she said was, 
the Holocaust didn't pertain to race per se because Jews are not necessarily a race. It's more so about like a religion, like your ethnic background because there's all kinds of different Jews. It's not just... You know, it was it was basically within the same nationality because they were both white people. And that's what she was just I think it was just more of a distinction more so than a derogatory statement. Mm-hmm. But she fucked up. There's her word up. usage, her word choice. But to because me, the definition of racism, it, it, it doesn't have just to do with the color of a person's skin. You right. know what I mean, it could be a religious right. belief and all that. So when she used the term that it. It wasn't racism because it was white versus white. She was incorrect. You know what I mean? So when you misspeak, even if you can be speaking generally on something correct, if you misspeak one thing, mm-hmm. that's your fucking ass. That's you know what I mean? Like if you're going to talk on something that's an unpopular opinion, you got to be willing to come correct. Yeah. You, in every right. way, shape, and form, mm-hmm. you better come correct. Yeah, no bullshit. Because if it's one hole they could poke in that unpopular opinion, there's a lot of holes. Yeah, ignorance is not an excuse anymore. Yeah. And I know if someone made a distinction to me about slavery, I'd be like, all right, like, get all the way out of here. <laughs> so I got to maintain that same energy. Although I don't feel like she was trying to be derogatory, I do understand why everyone um, felt offended. I, I, I don't think we can justify, like, people feeling hurt yeah you can't say where someone else's pain threshold is exactly yeah, man. there's an Anne frank show coming out <laughs> <laughs> well on, on netflix watch it? right i saw yeah. the, i saw the trailer you're gonna watch it you're just gonna listen to it i'm not i have no interest my best friend right my best friend Anne, or something like that <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about we'll be gonna be an extra in it <laughs> Yo, there was no black people there. Shout out to all the Holocaust survivors, by the oh way. It was, <laughs> it was. Hey, they like all the this. generations. <laughs> <laughs> They're mad old right now. Yeah. Well, the, like you know the the grandchildren of <laughs> They're the like in their nineties. Because it was like National yeah. Holocaust <laughs> Day. Like, it was like. Switch for compensation. This shit is about yeah. to get us canceled, yeah. I swear. Oh my God. Riri pregnant? <gasps> oh, man. Robin. We knew, but we didn't know, right? Then they like yeah, said it earlier. Know. Yeah. And it wasn't confirmed, but we knew. We, yeah. You could tell by the nose. Because, like, a woman, well, yeah. She starts to spray. And she was glowing. Like, yeah. she just was looking like. She's I'm always mad. glowing, but she was looking extra, extra beautiful. She's been talking more motherly and shit. I've been seeing posts of her like popping out, and everything she spoke on is just that's funny. Like Rihanna the star, I was like, hey, how are you loving? Da, da, da. I'm like, damn, she get, she ready. Robin Rihanna she Fenty. Ready. She mm. took that time off, so she ready. She set financially, she and she's a billion. This thing is Charlamagne said, "Asap need to change his last name to Fenty." Nah, f- <laughs> <laughs> I started dying. Yo, yo, but low key, you can't <laughs> act like you don't think Asap teaching her a lot of that. Asap came in the game on that type of time. No Rather bullshit. Didn't. She didn't. No bullshit. She came in the, in the game on some real island. Yeah, I used to talk shit. the most trash. Asap came. Okay, in the you game mean? Are you talking about Harlem like swag? Fly. Like no, I'm talking pushing high the culture, end fashion wise. Okay, like that's how Asap came in the game, high end fashion. Yeah, was Rihanna right. came in on some island gal type shit. Ah, uh, so but I, I don't. Can, think but I can't say would, that Rihanna wasn't a fashion icon by the time she met Asap. No, I'm just you saying, know in what I mean. Like, I don't think she, she would be that much of an influence on him, fashion wise. No. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm, I, I think, think they he's been so privy his entire career. That's how he's moved. Yeah, he's definitely up upper. And when he got arrested wise. overseas and shit, that's how he moved. He moved on that overseas that's shit. That's a fact like, in Sweden. That's you're right. right. He was the first face of Dior Ohm. That's a very. So y'all ready for Fenty Baby then, right? Whew. Oh, wow. Stylista. You know, the you know memes what's coming? Are hilarious. You know what's coming? Oh, the, how they killing Drake? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Drake Chris at the Brown. rapper's Internet game, ain't no <laughs> damn time Does it ever to know? kill <laughs> these motherfuckers here. <laughs> Golly. Yo, Everybody. it'd be hilarious, yo. It yo. is undefeated. You cannot beat the internet for shit. <sighs> Not with the way niggas can edit nowadays. Like, it looks hmm. real. Like, it looks <laughs> yeah. good. Too quick. I'm watching shit like, damn, is this a commercial? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is fake. Hmm. Damn, they killed Drake. The this internet is, is so funny. Like, I don't even be laughing at, like, Comedy specials as much no more. Oh, you're crazy. Like nah, not I as agree. much. Like because nah, well, it's so I'm a, I'm a comedy, it's so I'm a like comical man. shit on a regular basis. Anything I could search funny. up something I like a topic I think is gonna be funny and be like 
a power, you know, like Twitter thread. I'm crying all day. Like I'm yeah, no like bullshit. literally no bullshit. People's the comments? memes are crazy. Oh, I don't even. Yeah. Like, I don't even understand how people are. I don't understand how people are, are that funny. That, like, yeah, like, that's what like, I'm like, saying. Like, like, like who, is, fuck? who <laughs> like, made people, this? People who sharpen made their this? swords off other yes. people's comments. Yes. Yes. If this motherfucker yes. comment is this good and this how they got attention, to go. you already know how you got to speak to get that attention. <laughs> Motherfuckers' comments be dog better than the post. For Still, real, oh, be better than dying. the post. Be dying, literally. <laughs> Damn, Riri, couldn't have been me, Riri. Couldn't have been me. I wish mm. I could get, like, her pregnant. Like, I wish that was a thing. Me <laughs> too. That'd be nice. You know what I'm gonna do? I, I like her lifestyle. Like, <laughs> you touch a Billy. <laughs> you touch a Billy, then you just date who you want. Like, that's what I'm gonna be. That's the model I'm trying to be. Like, you see, Megan look too good is back on the market. Oh my God! Yes, oh, she yeah. Oh yeah. Killing the game. Good is back on the market. Oh Killing it too. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. We talked about this on the radio. Megan look too good. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> forever. Baby. Forever fine. My baby. Them forever lips. fucking fine. Forever. <laughs> Them lips. Forever fucking fine. I think she takes fine to a different level though. She's oh, like God. Yeah, like she's like divine. Like just like a sculpture. Yeah. <laughs> she walk in the room, everybody shut the fuck up. Yeah, like she has a I feel like she has an aura. Like her, Halle Berry, so like forever. Lauren Halle London, Berry's. like Halle Berry's. Yeah. Like <laughs> I'll be like <gasps> You ain't mentioned the queen, you know. though. Y'all seen the queen special? Janet Jackson. Janet motherfucking oh nah, Nita nah. Joe Jackson. She people going crazy about that shit. That shit was, that shit was real. It was dope. <clears throat> it's I, funny because people are like, oh, why would Jermaine Dupree cheat on her? It's like, looks has nothing TK to do. TK cheated on fucking <laughs> Jen, um, Halle Berry. Looks Beyonce got nothing, cheated on. You know, know what I mean? That has nothing to do. No. Niggas got to dig. When the wind yeah. blow, sometimes, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, I realize guys like <laughs> niggas just like new pussy. We don't know how Janet Jackson is behind the doors. Like really, she could have been like a whole totally does not Nah, matter. nah, I ain't cheating uh, on no Janet Jackson, man. Halle Berry, make it look too good. Like she said, it's a list. No, it's no, It's a no. motherfucking list. But and when you, you get to that list, think about God what he it. said though. Like <laughs> girls are gonna be throwing themselves at you because you're with that woman. You, then that you ain't know no, what I mean? That ain't no motherfucking lie. That ain't no lie. Well, you have full access to like any mm. woman you want because you're with you know your girl. Mm. It's tempting as a man, like, mm-hmm. and he's laughing. Well, he, but what got me was him laughing. I'm like, nigga, you laughing because you fumbled Janet? That's not funny, bro. You took an L. Like, look at your history. Yeah, like, look at them whores in your history. You and, ain't had one to meet a Joe in your fucking and track And like, can we record. be real? Like, he Come was lucky on, to be man. with her. Like, yeah. Jermaine Dupri. Hey. Let me stop because I I have respect Come for Jermaine Dupri. Me too on, too on a music surface. level, but my nigga, you was you was going through look wise when you bagged to meet a Joe, bro. You was lucky. <laughs> the fuck? That's like a nigga cheating on Maya. I'm just saying. You get Maya, you cheating on Maya? Mm, oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maya's on that list. <laughs> nah, hell no. Maya's definitely too, on that list. She's mad. She, she's Maya. small, though. She's mad small. I don't yeah, know. but she's beautiful. <laughs> she's gorgeous. Her aura what is godly. What do you mean small? I like, like thicker women. She's petite. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, she's okay. Maya's petite. Okay. I agree. Yeah. Okay. But so Maya's godly. Yeah, I know. I know. Forever. Yo, for real. But I feel forever. like she's like slim thick though. Like she still has. Nah, nah she's Megan small, looked she's... too good as slim thick. Yeah. Okay. But Maya nah, is just she's, slim. She's skinny. She petite. Got you. She's really small. Got you. Maybe I'm confusing she's her with Shanti right now. Preference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. that's a fact. Because Maya yeah. definitely on that list. Like she said, Maya on that list. Not nah, for real. She about. is. My God. Timeless beauty. Timeless. For real. But ever since cousin Skeeter. You was skinny. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to age. I'm trying to age. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I was a little bit too young then. <laughs> she, she even had the soup coolers then. Them lips was big when she was I on know. there. Oh. God damn it, Megan. See, but I certified Lauren London too on that list. Yeah, Lauren London definitely. Yeah. yeah. Her lips. Come on, that's Nipsey White. <laughs> that's Nipsey White. Oh, man. I'm Rest sorry. Peace, Nip. Don't do that. I'm sorry. That's the, that's the shit I, I feel like we need to normalize too. Like, even though females be celebrities, <laughs> I feel like we got to start normalizing, like, stop hitting on niggas' wives. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know I, guess I mean? That. Like, you ain't never seen, like, appreciation posts and niggas be like, oh, I love her and all that. Like, I don't know, because, like. Niggas cause, like, who, who really, like, nigga, that's a whole nigga wife. It's weird, though, because I like when niggas want my girl. I be laughing. But what if a nigga put up a whole fucking post? Women Crush Wednesday. A guy did that to me shirt. in high school. <laughs> That's my point. Where the nigga put up a yeah. woman? Woman cuts one day. Your nah, shirty. He dead ass did that. Of your shirty. I think it's funny. I it probably, I, I you, don't like it? you don't like the post? Probably share it. 
My ex thought it was funny too. He was Your not level mad. of savagery is different though. It's not that probably, much bears. I mean, I don't know. He gonna share different. He gonna be like, y'all go like this nigga post. I think for men it's more of a flattery. <laughs> that ass. It is. Base and promotion. <laughs> oh, this nigga want her. <laughs> Let a female do that to you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yo, women a little different. See, they but they take that a whole the different way. That flattering. Nah. This my nigga crush every day. Is that a mm. turn off, by the way, if like a woman is too like on you? Like if she likes you more than you like her. Hell yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hell yeah. Absolutely. 130,000%. Yeah, it's annoying. You don't even want to be around her. And you could actually have liked her a little bit, but then but she. But because she likes you so OD. much. Well, yeah, come on. Like, like Golden Retriever, like come anything on. you say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like willing, you, you know, to like back please, away. like you just gotta back away. Like, those, gotcha. But then, but then sometimes it's like, God damn, <laughs> those are the ones you be afraid. Of. Like, damn, I'm gonna, ta- I'm, I'm gonna take advantage of this girl. No, because I have and mad you, male and you, friends, and, you, and, and you, they do and this. And, they and, do this. That's that's what I didn't want to say out loud, but that's, oh what, my that, gosh. But that's what that is. Okay, though. okay, okay. But that's what that is. <laughs> you said that to I had. <laughs> 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 I think I walked into the mic. Yeah, I'm about to take it. I had a guy friend goofy tell ass. me he dates girls that are like sometimes not Easy. out of, out of his or under his league because like they'd be the ones that buy him like Dolce and Gabbana or like they're gonna buy him that Hermes belt or they're gonna take him out to dinner or pay why for the you, hotel why suite. You, why you dry snitch that? Am I dry snitching a little? No, why he dry snitching? Oh, oh. I mean, <laughs> I fell in the game. Listen. <laughs> yeah. I have no comment. It's, it's like that. It's real. That's real. Because you guys are like confirmed. Wow. That's I would never know. I didn't confirm anything. Listen. <laughs> I would never know. I'm not confirming His not. name is Mac. I would never know. It's like a whole lie. Sorry about the lip gloss. You saw it. It's popping. Bow Wow. What he doing now? Lip gloss. Wasn't he suing or some shit? What happened? He no, can't get the joke. It went over. <laughs> it went over his head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Little mama. Bow Wow. Yeah. You know. He know. He still don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Oh wow, this shit is highlighted. I seen some story today that. Made me yo Mac. What's this up? Is, this is some this is some wild shit. What's up? This this, this chick then changed the whole game. The yo. whole game got the changed. The whole game. The whole game got changed. Yo, game she fucking. Changed. She ordered DoorDash to this house, I see and that. then she gave instructions to the DoorDash driver to just take a picture of the house to see if a car was parked outside. She's like, "You keep the lemonade. Just go out. Just go and to this place and then take a picture." And the person did it. The driver did it. Bro, you low key dry snitching. But what if it was a girl driver? That's not your job. It's not. But it low key is your job because it's the instructions Wait, left. So she paid she, him to go take a picture to she, make. DoorDash. She, okay. She ordered just, something to DoorDash to keep an address. The Drop the food and in the like, driver like, and take a the, picture. Keep the food, but take a picture of a car. Was she trying to catch her man? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. This makes, okay, that's content. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right. All Never right. heard of Next that. Level. I don't Yo, have the time to insane. do that. Who you, thinks like, of that shit? I am not, a inve- you know how girls like be like, Yo, I'm going through phones, I'm investigating, I'm doing this, I did all, or that meme when they were like, the summer walker, I'm going insane. I don't oh, have the time, the girl, like hair? you know the shit I'm trying to do. Like I'm trying to touch <laughs> bread. I don't have time to be doing that shit. Like chase I, somebody else down that you already know ain't shit. I don't have the time. I don't take cheating personal. I don't. I don't. None of that shit. Guys like having fresh pussy. I've come to realize that. Like I'm just different mindset. A lot of guy friends put me on a lot of game. A lot of older guys in my life, OGs that just yeah. Niggas would be niggas. Yeah. <laughs> For real, yeah. <laughs> once, once I heard Beyonce got cheated on, I was like, "Yo, I'll never cry ever again." I promise you, oh I'll God. never take that shit personal. And I also won't only blame the guy. Like I feel like sometimes there's a disconnect. Yeah, there is that women don't like to acknowledge, or men as well. Yeah, some women are just. Some men are just. <laughs> I be hearing all types of stories. It'd be, it'd be funny. It'd be funny. Some niggas got yo the audacity. I don't be meaning to laughing at these at these people that be in these situations, but the audacity of some people. 
like wild and wild i got even want to get into what i'm thinking about right now i can't and our society teaches us at a young age to be in relationships before they teach you to work on yourself and to have value mm. in yourself and have something to even offer another person right so a large percentage if not everybody gets into a relationship not even ready to be in a relationship then as you continue that cycle going on through your life how much time did you really put into yourself to give it yourself something to even offer somebody else to actually compliment somebody else so i have a question for you guys since you guys are gentlemen um do you feel more so like you're a commodity rather than an appreciated individual in a relationship in this current landscape of dating like do you feel like your value is solely based on like your wealth your income and what you can provide rather than you actually being like fulfilled as a person in yeah. a relationship yeah I, I do think that i do think that because a man could go with like a woman that's under her or under him like financially but like a woman nowadays has like this in inherent standard like of value yeah because if you're not gonna that's that shit though like what woman wants to be with a man that's not gonna be able to provide at all none none that i know at least you got to be able to have something that you have to be able to you got to be working nobody wants to nobody wants to be with nobody that's not working or bringing something to the table makes sense okay makes sense then you're just a bum if not on god in them no bullshit. And who wants to who wants to deal with that? Who wants to I feel like people get trapped backpack, in that relationship? Backpack, backpack, mm. like what the you fuck? Get, like, you get trapped in that relationship like, where a person was in a positive space and then they go through you know what I mean hardships and maybe you mentally felt like you could take them on. And then you get to that point where you're like, Yeah, I'm not gonna, I can't do this shit no more, motherfucker. I I've been I'm not sure if you ever had this mentality as a as a, when I was a lot younger. I used to be the type of nigga to be like, nah, don't worry, I got everything, right? No, when you taking bitches out and shit? Oh, I'm talking about everything, like bills, everything, like don't do nothing type shit. Oh, no, I never. never I was, never, I was, I was, never. I used to be like that. Never, never. Used to be like that until I saw, I, I got taken advantage. Like, it was, it was just, it was just as simple as that. Mm-hmm. Like, it started taking advantage of me. It's just mm-hmm. like, damn, like, nah, now nah, you, now nah, you, now nah, you gotta do something now. And then once that conversation happens, just like, now, now friction becomes comes in a relationship because you don't want to do anything like damn now i'm starting to think like damn this person even have any aspirations they have no goals have no nothing it's but just like it's it's that's the that's the whole the 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 same mentality of the, you met me in the club shit at the end of the day you want growth for this person that they may not necessarily want and what you accepted from them initially is the person that they showed you they were i mean that's mm-hmm. the met you in the club shit now three months into the relationship you complain because this bitch go to the club every weekend you met her in the club you cannot complain she be in the club that's where you met her at that's what was, was attracted to her at. You didn't meet her in, in no library. Vice versa. You didn't meet for her the guys at no, at, no guys business as well. meeting. You know what I mean? You 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 attract what you want to attract. You attract to what you want to attract to. Mm-hmm. You meet her in the setting that you want her to be in. Mm-hmm. And and that's not going to be a force for that growth in that area. You know what I'm saying? The females you met in school compared to the females you met in the streets. The females you met in the workplace. The females you met. In this state, that's the every everywhere differs. You know what I mean. So at the end of the day, is what's the current split? Like you move in with a girl, what's her percentage? What do you mean? Like, if there's a breakdown and like, who's paying how many of the percentages of the bills? I don't know. What's it depends split? what you got going on. Yeah, it depends mm-hmm. on the person' financial standpoint. But got you. I feel like as a man, if you can't do minimum sixty percent though, then there's no worth for you in that household. Mm living with someone and that's either if you're living together on your end or her end if she's living with you she shouldn't be paying more than 40 percent. she's she just moved in with you if you living with her she can take care of 100 percent by herself so if you can't bring more than 50 percent, what is your usefulness here interesting perspective so if you can't bring at least minimum 60 percent there's, there's no usefulness for you even be living. With <laughs> I <else>. think more, <laughs> yo. That's what I said. Minimum. I don't even That's what I said. Man. Minimum. 60, minimum is 60, minimum. Sixty is almost half, nigga. Like, nigga, yeah, that so shit is. That shit is. 
don't you know, think? man. I don't know. Let me put it this way. All right, so you and me and you have a child, and your we child lives with the mother. Your child lives with the mother. Your child lives with the mother, and she allows a man to live with her that's only bringing 30% to the table, and she's paying 70%. Nah, nigga. 40% to the table, and she's nah. paying 60%. That's my point. Now you, from the other standpoint, you can view that man better at least be bringing more than half to that table to be taken from my child. No, that's what I'm saying. More than 60%. That's what I said. 60 is minimum. I think that's what I said. 60 more is than, minimum. More than if you could bring like, more than 60, like, that should be yeah, yeah, just. Like. 60 is the minimum bear that you should be able to bring if you're going to be living with a woman or a woman going to be living with you. Yeah, niggas. Straight like that. Niggas is funny. Niggas is funny. Some niggas really be at the table with 20%, 30%, or even 70% they can offer. They can offer, and 30% they bring it. And dumb niggas got the audacity. 60% they can offer, and 10% they like, bring it. So what about dates? Like, how, what is like, what do you guys, what's your perception on dating? Like, taking a girl out, like, how much do you feel comfortable spending on her? And do you feel like some girls are just like using this to eat? Like bitches don't be having yeah, food to eat Yeah, but as home. they like, as they should. I mean, but that's that shit though. They when, should. They should. <laughs> if somebody <laughs> they should. <laughs> what if somebody offer you? If somebody if, as a woman, if somebody offer you to go out to eat, you fucking find that person attractive. You just got any. Of course, they're gonna fucking. They're gonna. They're gonna go. Mm-hmm.